have to talk about the fact that Caleb Fields was under the weather. After the Sacred Heart game, he was not feeling well, did not practice at all leading up to this game. In fact, uh, he was involved in the sh He was only three for eight in the two-point win over Sacred Heart. And he they, but they got it to him in a position where all he had to do was catch and turn. That double team was coming. Two wing guys are two of the better shooters I've seen in a long time. Pulakitis, a 73% shoot three. 6'5", soft from the Red Sea. And he makes the third. So we are, here's Allen Jean Rose, five to shoot to the left hand, rattles in and out and in, and the Stags have. Cook is getting the ball in a position where all he has to do pretty much is bounce it once. That's how they thrive defensively, and he expects three-point shots to be there tonight for the Yale looking for its first field goal, and there they get it on the second chance opportunity. Lefty for the starters. It's the leftiest team I've ever seen in my life. Way that's August Mahoney on the steal, right to the hole. Makes it a one-point game. No relief. Stags scoring from deep remains a problem, and now Yale turns it over. That was Bez and Bang with the turnover. Penn and Princeton. So I got to say one thing: if they're third, Penn and Back in the day, Ivy League wasn't so thought of, thought of, but these days the Ivy League is terrific. Well, that's a good sight for. Us. Wow, I, I, I'm going to tell you something. The end of the play looked was a little under 10 offensive rebounds per game. Strong drive to the hole from the freshman, James Johns Jr. He said he is fouled as the stag. Just a great move here. Little contact, body control. Young man's got big, big ups numbers. And I've said this before on other broadcasts, and you wonder why he doesn't play. Get lead, Fields puts on the record hard. They from the free throw line, did not shoot it well in that game. Here, he's playing after not practicing at all following his heroic effort against Sacred Heart. He uh, woke up on Thursday morning. The weariness is catching up to them. DJ Long hit a three. Fairfield, Malloy, tough shot, and he gets it to drop. Ten to shoot for the Bulldogs. Feinberg just in the game and gives it for Jarvis and he dunks it through. One-on-one so -on -one and Embang, the nice crossover delivery. And all of a step there, an easy two for the point guard. Chrysler spot up three. It's good. 20 to 11. Fairfield, second three of the three. Quick shot and he knocks it down. James Johns Jr. Hit and he'll play. So James Johns Jr. knocks down the third three of his first half down the lane on Rose and the runner is good. Patrick right down the lane and blew the layup, tip dip and put through. A couple of switch pretty good in the post. Give Cook a lot of credit for moving his feet. Beating Hawaii in the title game of that tournament. And bang, puts in the three. He has struggled from deep all season, only 20% from behind the arc, but that's, and Rose. And Rose down the lane. The runner is good. Well, he has penetrated successfully throughout this first half. Well, the teams do that as Johns Jr. goes into the lane, tipped up and tipped through. That was Supreme Cook who got in there. Back in, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Allen Jean Rose spinning, bouncing for a wide open cook, and he blasts it through. That was a great setup and a better finish for Gene Rose. Two, one, and he didn't know it. Didn't know it. Lost that internal clock. Jones will call for the timeout. We talked about um, 